Hey everyone, it's Chris from Trainual. So one of the questions we get asked all the time is how do you migrate from something like Google Docs or Word, Microsoft Word documents, or maybe just files scattered through your Dropbox into using Trainual and what's the benefit to doing that? So maybe you've already got some of your policies and your processes or your standard operating procedures built out in one of those other systems. You've got tons of folders or you've got a Google Drive that's filled and documents you've created over the years. How do you take that content Content and organize it into Trainual, and what's the benefit for doing that? So I want to show you with just some sample content that we have here. So this is, of course, just a Google Doc. It's a word processor. You can scroll through. You see there's just lots of text, maybe an image that you've embedded in there, and you just have one really long document. So if you wanted to share this with someone on your team, maybe you'd share the folder, or maybe you would share the link to this Google Doc, and all you would be doing is giving them the access, giving them the link to open it up and reference it. So that's great. And that's a great place to start and this is where we recommend a lot of people get started if you're just a small business that's starting to write your processes then maybe Trainual is overkill. The real value of Trainual is to be able to consolidate all of that information into step-by-step -step processes that you can then assign to someone and track their progress as they go through and complete it. So let me show you how this works. Let's say we had a document, a big master document, you know, 50 pages or something that was like this manual on, on using a software or a tool in your company. Maybe it's about your CRM or something. In this case, we've got a sample subject in Trainual that's called Getting Started with Trainual. And let me show you how this converts. So, first of all, you've got the title, you've got like a subheader and then another header. And in this case, we're talking about the system basics, you know, getting started with the company, the basics, what is it all. Uh, here's the text that we had built out. So now in Trainual, you'd see a subject that looks like this with all of the topics inside and topics are individual modules that can be assigned to people and you can track their progress their completion percentage so now if I click into this system basics you'll see how it looks slightly different than it does as a a Google Doc here. So first of all, um, I've got all my subheaders kind of as a navigation on the left hand side. So I can navigate between them, easy clicks just to go exactly to what I'm looking for. Um, next, I can see my completion rate. So like I mentioned, a big part of Trainual is assigning content to someone and I can see as an individual user, as myself using this system, ha what have I completed in this system. So as you mark steps as completed, you will get this 0% advanced up to 100% and you will know exactly time and date stamp when the user, when the employee went through that material, all of that activity would be stored in your dashboard. And then you can click onto the user to see exactly their progress on everything that they've been assigned. When they last logged in, all their latest activity, their percentage completions. So all of that content is available in Trainual, whereas with something like a Google Doc, all you're doing is sharing a, a link or sharing a folder. So now let me come back in here and you can see that with a Google Doc, when you're editing this uh, in, in you know, these, these long pages, first of all, it's just a, it's overwhelming. It's a lot of content. In Trainual, we break those things down into steps, step by step, so that the user doesn't feel overwhelmed and they can stop at any time. And if I did go through the first five steps of this, maybe that's all I have time for, it would advance my percentage. And then from my desk as a user, I would know exactly where I left off. In this case, this I, I wasn't completing anything, but I would know exactly where I left off and I could jump right back to that material so it's helpful for the user in tracking their own progress and kind of gamifying getting trained on your systems so now the next thing is let's say you edited this Google Doc let's say you made some changes to this Google Doc now you have to resend everyone the link and email out tell everybody that hey our process has been updated well with Trainual when I click edit on a topic here and I just start editing it let's say I added a few new steps now anyone that's previously completed this material and previously been assigned the material would be automatically notified by our system that something has changed and they should go back in to get back to hundred percent of course the user won't be at hundred percent if there's some new material so Trainual is automatically circulating those changes so that you don't have to do it and if you're making changes to your content uh, often this can be really helpful it tracks when something was last updated so you can see all of that activity here in the system now another thing you can do in Trainual that you can't do with just a simple word processing system is actually embed videos embed other HTML content so if I go down here into the editor 
First of all, I can go full screen, so it's got the content, all the editing tools across the top, similar to uh, Word or Google. You can write content, but then you can also drag in images. You can embed videos that actually play right here inside the content editor. You can attach files like you attach them to an email, so you've got handy reference files. You can build out tables, or you can embed full HTML code. And this can be anything like a, an iframe, if you're familiar with what that is, a form, if you want to capture information to send into your systems, maybe some slides that you've put together, a, a website. It can be anything that you can embed with HTML you can put into here. So it, it makes it really easy to just centralize your content and actually put together more interactive content than you could with just a simple word processor. Okay, so we've talked about how to organize your material, how to edit your material, the types of material you can put in here, and then like I mentioned, you can assign all of this. So if I'm in the admin mode here, I can see average completion rate, so this is of course brand new and no one's uh, gone through it yet. I can assign individual users or I can actually assign this to an associated role in the company. So rather than having to share things uh, in folders, you know, if you've got a Google Doc or a Word Doc, you've got to put it in a specific folder. Uh, a subject in Trainual can, ex can exist in multiple folders or multiple roles in your business at once. So it's easy to cross train people or give everyone access to everything that's applicable for their role in the company so that's just a little bit for uh, you know how Google Docs or Word Docs might differ from working inside Trainual and if you're training a lot of people or you want people to be able to reference and of course search be able to do full text search uh, for anything that's inside the content that they have access to then Trainual might be a better way to organize how you do what you do and to delegate what you've documented in your business uh, if so, you can check out our free 14-day trial, sign up, see if it's a good fit for you, and we're here to help you the whole way. So thank you for your time, and we look forward to working with you.